Howdy folks, and welcome back to more fun in Railroader. We are here at East Silva with the Banana Train. Or, for those of you who uh, don't like the Banana Train, number 50. <laughs> and we're going to do a little bit of switching here. We're about half an hour or so out from an in-game drop of uh, more cars at the interchange. So we're going to do a little bit of switching to try to get... Uh, I'll, the East Silva Popo board at least a little more taken care of. If you look over here, as our diesel starts moving, we have a lot of cordwood cars that are empty. And this one is emptying pretty fast, actually, so I'm hoping that by the time we get over to it, we can just take those full strings over to Dillsboro and uh, get them ready to go heading west on a future freight. But meanwhile, we're going to take the banana train and uh, get this car over to the interchange, maybe make us a little bit more money, and then uh, we'll see what happens here. We're also waiting for one final car to drop at the uh, coal mine. And it'll be interesting to see what other stuff we have to uh, get today. We have a few things in progress as far as milestones. We've got Alarca Branch, Phase 1 of 3, which is up there. Uh, building the second phase of Fontana Lake. I don't know if we're going to get that one just yet. Um, and then we do have the signals for Hemingway to Brooks. So they should be up there along with the Alarca stuff, uh, which will hopefully get us signals soon, as well as extending the Alarca Branch down to Alarca proper. So we can start running passenger trains down there, plus the ever-popular uh, copper drags, which I hear are quite lucrative. Uh, I'm also still debating whether I want to go ahead and get another locomotive for switching at East Silva. Uh, obviously, the banana train is our venerable favorite, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, but I keep looking at, at the SW1 switcher, and it's 23000 and I really don't want to go into debt. So I'm hopeful that, uh, depending on how profitable some of the passenger trains are, as well as some other things, that we may be able to get that sooner rather than later. So while this heads up the hill, uh, we have our passenger trains. Number four is in motion. Number seven is getting fixed up. Ninety is getting fixed up. Five gets fixed up. Uh, 734 is getting fixed up. Let's go over to number two, which is currently at a larger junction. It just got there before we started hitting the record button. And this train does need to get a little bit of fix going. We'll drop it off at price, and the next time it's down there, we'll quickly just get it uh, filling up with people, though. And looks like we're still waiting on that one car. So we're going to go ahead, get number, uh, number two backing up. And we do have fusees already down at Hemingway, but just to confirm, there it is. And when it comes in, let's just go ahead. We'll make sure it's lined for the track that I wanted. And we're going to go ahead and just plop it down. One car is still at the very end, so we'll go ahead and put a few C there. We'll put a few C here. And because I'm neurotic, we'll make sure that that train stops no matter what. All right, meanwhile, let's get back to the banana train. And the banana train is backing up with this one empty car, which will hopefully get us uh, a little bit of money. So let's keep on a rolling. What track am I lined for? That's a damn good question. Okay, yeah, my uh, OCD is also messing with me. I think I might get all these on one um, one track. Do I need to do it? No. Will it make me feel better about myself if I do? Yes. So that's what we will do. And that way, uh, you know, currently these outgoing cars, it's not too many of them, but at least if I could all get them on one track, that would be little bit nicer and a little bit easier to move around because I don't think we're going to have time to get any other cars here. We do have a fair amount of interchange bound stuff that needs to come over, but I'm holding off on bringing the big train until 
the couple of cars up at Robinson are ready to roll. So we have one more to go there. Come on back, banana train. Okay. Go ahead and get that coal car also hooked up. And that way those can just be taken care of. A current money update, we are sitting at $3,735 with zero loans. So that's good. Uh, our equipment, for the most part, is in decent shape. The Burke needs a little bit of love. The Loggy Mikado, oh boy, still uh, has a long ways to go after last episode's uh, chaos, if you will. Um, chaos meaning... Why not ignore a fusey? Because fuck fusies, I suppose. But let's go ahead, get a couple up here. We also do have a lot of cars that probably need to get looked at. Granted, they're log cars, so they're not urgent. But, uh, okay. Let's go ahead, back this sucker up. Looks like number two is finally the Hemingway. So that's good. We'll keep it moving here. Six dollars. Excellent. Okay, come on, train. Oh, and number four, theoretically, is in Dillsboro. Fantastic. So we'll let that one unload. That one had a lot of people on it. That was an almost completely full train. No, it was a full train. Because it wouldn't let anyone on at frickin' Wilmont. Or Whittier, or other places. So. Making us some more money. Yeah, everything else is at 100%, which is great. So. Keep that going. I also may, uh, depending on how much money we get make a decision of do we go ahead and get our crack passenger train first or do we uh, just uh, get our switcher and maybe a few other fun things down the line. Let's go ahead and put a set on. And there it goes. Alright, next stop is going to be over to Pulpwood Land, and we'll see what we can do to get that all sorted. I will say, this little diesel has been a lifesaver down here. And as much as some people hate the banana train, the banana train has... How, how to put it? It's just been so appealing. So let's make sure that switches are set for it. Yes, that should be fine. And meanwhile, everything else over at East Silva is just kind of rolling. I have a feeling there's going to be quite a car drop for it once we uh, get over here because of stuff that needs to go uh, down the line to other places. So we'll make sure that it's there. Yeah, this seems to be dropping like two tons since we last looked at it. So what we'll do, um, it may make the most sense for us to leave that string for a little while longer. Because so if that's at 17, now 16.9, it's slowly getting there. So we're going to let the diesel drift down to us. Meanwhile, let's get number four back in motion as well as number two. And this train, does it need anything? Should be 100% still. Yes, okay, we're good. So, if this need water, we can take care of water later. Go ahead and get that fusee out. Put that one there. 
Just fuel cars have plenty to go. And those still have a fair ways to go. While that's heading over, let's do a quick check. Number uh, number seven is going to need a while to get fixed up, but number 90 is back at 100. And are these cars done yet? They are. So we'll have a little bit more switching we can do with them. Um, but let's get number two rolling first. Because that's the one I really want to get fixed up. Our, one of our two wonderful pastor trains. That car still never got to 100% since we last did it. It's still been borked for quite some time. Alrighty. So number two is in motion. Number four is in motion. There are no people waiting at Hemingway, so perfect. And hopefully that works the way I hope it does. Meanwhile, back to the banana... Oh, shit! Um. Um. Banana train, why? Banana train, why? Banana train, why you do this? Fucking hell. Okay, well. The banana train. God damn it, banana train. This is not what I wanted. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Fuck you, banana train. This is terrible. Well, let's go to here. Okay. And... Ho! Ho! Well, I know what we're going to be doing for a little bit. <laughs> this is terrible. This is absolutely goddamn terrible. needs to be fixed. We're going to set that to be fixed at Dillsboro. The, oh, God. Dillsboro fix. Dillsboro fix. You know what? All of these, you're going to Dillsboro to get fixed. Congratulations. Meanwhile, on this track, 100, 100, Hundred, hundred, hundo, hundo. Let's just get them all fixed up. Why not? Dillsboro. That car is fine. Okay, well. This is absolutely terrible. The guy who did that needs to be fired. Out of a canyon. Okay. Number four has stopped. Number two's got a way to go. Did I throw the switch, though? I did. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. I had such high hopes for this, just a casual sort of thing, and I just goddamn run the banana train 
at mock fuck and this is what happens you know what? we'll come back for those other ones let's just keep going because the banana train needs to atone for its sins god damn banana train well while that backs up let's take a look at the other trains that are not absolutely fucked to death Let's see. And, oh, people are still getting off. People are still getting off. Let's see how full this train becomes. Holy crap! Well. Hmm. Damn. Okay. I think fate has moved my hand here. Because we've got approximately back to number 50 that you're also going to go to Dillsboro to get fixed up we're going to have to move that caboose out of the way um, I might just go ahead and buy that switcher because then I can use it to switch how much money do I need for that Five thousand on me. Twenty-three seven. Okay. Yep, I think it's time. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and buy a switcher. And we're back in debt. Hmm. Look at that. You're not going to be number 20. You're going to be our new number one. So let's go ahead and update you, shall we? All right, you are now big switchy. And on your tender, you say suffer and southern. Alrighty. It's like a, it's one hell of a locomotive and it's got a little bit of fuel. We'll just go ahead and fuel it up so that way it can be big chonker switcher. Um, so with that said, I think this one's gonna have to push the other crane. I don't know if I like that whistle or not, but we'll find out here. Go ahead and back up. Kind of feels weird not having a front number plate, but you know, it's what it is. Alrighty, so with that, let's get number four rolling because number four needs to go. And then we'll send it going the other direction. How's number two doing? Okay. Quickly, because I'm feeling crazy about this, let's make sure the number two is set where I want it to go. Okay, and that did not crash. It's just getting fixed up. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and manual. So I think that's going to be, yeah, that's perfect for the stop. I'm going to go ahead, uncouple here. Am I not coupled? Or is there an airline? Uh, that's not great. Yeah, 
interesting 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 we're going to go ahead and throw that switch and we're going to dump everything other than that front coach and the engine onto this track here let our boys quickly uh get it all switched over but uh I'm just still upset about the fucking banana train. Once this is all together, we'll uh, actually know it's got plenty of fuel. We don't have to worry about it just now. Oh boy. All right, that's not going anywhere, and that should hopefully not take too long to get fixed up. So let's go back to the misadventures of the banana train. That's our new number one, the 080 Chalk and Switcher. Is now going to move all of this. And while we back up, we need to get a better whistle. Let's see. No. Okay, let's look at this one. Hmm. Let's try one more hooter. No. I think it's going to be 12 18. It's a freight locomotive. It's there to let people know it's coming and it means business, so. I think that's the voice. Okay, let's start getting it rolling. Because eventually we're going to have an interchange switch over. And that's going to be needed with the new number one. Yeah, we're just going to leave that to unload. We'll deal with all the other cars as they come in, and we'll deal with the things we don't have an eastbound or westbound freight heading out just yet. Frickin' banana train. 
Well, while the banana train is being pushed to its uh, new home to get fixed up, let's take a quick look up at a uh, place. Yeah, no, it's still got that one hopper. I really wish that wasn't the case. So let's then also check here. Because they fix up stuff real fast sometimes. 97. 92. Yeah, it's still going to be a few minutes. So let's just go ahead. Push this one back. We're going to go ahead and move the caboose off one of the repair tracks to uh, just one of the permanent... Uh, you know, sidings down here. And uh, number four, let's just go ahead and get that one out of the way. It did not need fuel, correct? Let's make sure. Yeah, we'll get it back to Bryson before we do that. Okay. Get out of here, you stupid train. That'll be good. And over here, we've got the two fix-it tracks. I may even use some of the, the roundhouse after we put the banana train away, but we'll remove that caboose. We'll put that on one of the two sidings over here, and it'll just live there for until such time that we either sell it or... Maybe we'll get a fleet of new cabooses that would require that, but we'll find out later on. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're shorter than passenger cars. We may be able to get all six of them in there. will now do the Lord's work and I am your Lord. So we'll go ahead, get you back over there. Fill you up with lots of coal and water. And you'll be good to go. too fast thankfully and I guess we'll see in a minute how bad this uh, interchange drop is whether it's going to be uh, you know light or heavy but we'll find out one way or another okay coast in more of a set on the engine just to keep the descent controlled. Okay, that should be fine. We're going to go ahead and just go straight in. Why don't we? And we're just going to go straight for that caboose. As dramatic noises occur. <laughs> We're also going to turn the uh, number one around. I want it facing west because I think that'll be better for 
uh, switching stuff here. Plus, if it then has to drag stuff, I'd rather not have to drag uh, backwards. All this is, is kind of like what we're doing right now, but, you know. Alright, entering Dillsboro. Start slowing down for our entrance into the yard. I feel like we have like the, the drums roaring behind us because of that goddamn coal car. Okay. Yeah, we could probably fit three of them in at a time on this track. Oh, we can easily do that. So that'll be good. Just go ahead and drag those cars over. I'm just still mad at the banana train. I just can't freaking believe it. This is probably General's fault. You know, somewhere deep down, this is him getting revenge for something and being like, ha ha, banana train. That son of a gun. Because Midland wouldn't do that. Midland would be too nice. Storm is a wild card, but I don't know. And, uh, you know, Bacon... It could be a bacon thing, but I'm not not sold on that. But who knows?
All right, now that the caboose is out of the way, we'll go ahead and get these ones fixed up as well. So now we're uh, 0 for 2. We completely, well, not completely, but we almost borked. Not even almost. We did bork. We did bork. We borked number 7. Now we borked the banana train. All of the logging or logging adjacent stuff is just having a time right now. And I think it's the universe. The universe is telling us something. Maybe it's because we took on more debt? I don't know. But... You know, only time will tell. We'll go ahead and make sure that that switched off. All right, we'll get this taken care of. Fuel up the locomotive, spin it around. Get the banana train out of here. And then uh, let's go down to the interchange, see how bad the damage is. So I think it's at 37 cars. So we'll see where that puts us. Thirty-four dollars. Not enough to pay down the debt, but you know, it's not too bad. Okay, so we'll see how many of these we can truly stick in the fix them up track. Uh, looks like three is going to be their golden number. So we'll go ahead and tie down a handbrake. car that's at zero percent oh boy good thing our pulp wood is really loaded and we're not in the race with midland right now otherwise i'd be really fretting about that one pulp wood car Go ahead. Put the handbrake on. We're going to go put the banana tree in the roundhouse. to check on the other stuff I guess as well so let's go ahead and get her stuff oh wait the engines the uh and we may uh, end up needing to take this car back with us to the interchange so we'll see what happens here You may rest now, at least for a little bit. Okay. 
Alrighty. Well, in a train, you need to rest. You've uh, done some terrible things. So you need to think about what you've done. And the crews in Dillsborough will get you fixed up at some point. Okay. You from the cab. Let's go ahead. Step down. Turn this puppy around. All right. Let's just ride the pilot out of here. Brakes are strong on this locomotive. All right, so that's going to load up with, I think it said 16 tons of coal. Yeah, 16 tons of coal. And we need to get 4,000, 5,000 more gallons of water. So while that's doing that, let's go make sure that number four is on the move, which it will be momentarily. It looks like it's got a decently full train still, which is excellent. Get out of there. And it should already have everything set for it at, uh, okay, I'm glad I checked. Probably because I didn't account for the other train, but yeah, because this one's going to be moving. Okay. Well, speaking of the other train, let's go check on the other train, see what it's up to. So that car is now at 100%, 96%, 100%, 96%, 100 so it won't be too much longer until we can get the other passenger train moving again. And then out of curiosity, number seven, what are you at? Oh, you were still very brown. 39. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. Okay. We'll worry about these cars over here later. And those are still unloading. And just for giggles, is it ready? One, two, three. Yes, it is. Okay, but we're going to focus on, since there's no rush to take it over there. The other ones are all moving. Let's go back to number one. All right, come on, Philip. I swear, it's like drums every time I come near the thing. Alrighty, so that's now there. Go ahead and shove back. All right, so that's going to get filled with water. So with that said, let's go take a look at the interchange. Okay. Appalachian hardwood. Slay Mike and Schist. A couple cars there. More stuff for the sawmill. And then a decent amount of paperboard stuff. Okay. I guess the fuel car, 
guess. Okay. So what I think we'll probably do is we'll just go ahead and take care of silk paperboard. Get those cars out of the way, and then we'll eventually have a westbound freight that can grab all the other stuff here. So we'll just let this uh, fill up with water here. Eventually, maybe. God, those cars also need to be fix fixed at some point. So we'll just put them all. Let's get everything fixed up. Let's be on the fix a palooza on the Suffer and Southern. Okay. Should almost be done by this point, I think. There we go. Get those switches taken care of. That definitely won't come back to bite us in the ass at some point. But you know what? I think this is where we're going to call it for the day. I can't believe the banana train borked itself. It's not great. But, uh, you know, sometimes shit happens on the Suffer and Southern. And that's exactly what happened here. So we'll get number uh, one backed up there. Next time we'll be doing some switching and other fun stuff. Maybe we'll have a few friends to join us here. But thank you so much for hopping on. Uh, if you've enjoyed our little adventures here, feel free to like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, subscribe to the channel. we got some more fun stuff planned coming up in the future and we hope you'll uh, join along for more fun on the suffer and southern have a good one